broadcasting live worldwide. Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. No, no, no. no? Okay. Hi, Noah. Noah. Oh, Noah. <laughs> Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Oh, 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 this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of Right. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it say. Let it say. Yeah. Good morning. You listening to Half Faith Lab again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Half Faith. Let it begin. Today is May fourteenth. Already, almost halfway done with April, with that May. I was gonna say April. Can you believe that? Uh, almost done with May already, guys. It's it's flying. I mean, it's just flying by. I can't believe that my daughter is literally about a month away from um, <laughs> about a month away from finishing kindergarten. You know, it's it's crazy. Last night I had an opportunity to go back. Uh, we'll call it to high school home as I was uh, helping out the senior class. Um, varsity uh, baseball team do their senior night. That was an awesome time. Thank you so much uh, to Coach uh, Lennon and, of course, to Rod for, uh, you know, inquiring about me and sending me out there to the field and doing what I had to do to make those announcements uh, for the family uh, in a very, very memorable ceremony. You know, I was listening this morning um, as I was driving, as I am driving to work, and I started thinking um, about what kind of episode we were going to launch today. And um, and of course, you know, a song came on, and uh, instantaneously I knew what I was going to talk about, and and really it's it starts off with a with a question: um, Do you feel that you are within the house of the Lord? Do you feel that you are close with our heavenly Father? You know, a lot of times when I was struggling back in my early twenties, um, when I wasn't really uh, a faith going person and going to church uh, as strongly as I as I try to do now. Um, I say try because, quite honestly, my work schedule doesn't allow me. Thank God for online services. But in my 20s, you know, I was a partier. I was a person like to go out on Saturday nights. And then to wake up and go to church on Sunday was a struggle. As I got closer and closer with the Lord, I realized it didn't matter. Priority number one was to serve the Lord. Um, even if I went there and I was half asleep. The words of the pastor would wake me up. The words of the singing of the of the uh, uh, choir and the piano playing would wake me up. So I asked you the ask yourself this question: Are you close with the Lord? Are you feeling like you are within the house of the Lord? And if you're not, listen. It doesn't mean you are further away. It just means that there's a couple things we need to do. And the first thing we should do is pray to God. Is to announce yourself to God and say, hey, you know what? I think you and I should chat. God's waiting. He's never left. He is still there when you think he's the furthest away. When we pray and we feel as if he's not listening to our prayers. Oh, trust and believe. He hears your prayers. I know what you're thinking. Well, if he never left, and when I pray to him because I need him at the most, and you say he's listening, why doesn't he answer the prayers right away? God has an amazing, amazing sense of humor, but his timing is impeccable. And sometimes our prayers don't not don't need to be answered right away. But when they are answered, you know God has heard your prayer. Many of us are dealing with so many heartaches, so many sorrows, coming off of 
Mother's Day weekend and dealing with maybe being lonely or being further away from your mom. You know, I, I think about that every day about, you know, what will happen that day when my mom is called home to be with the Lord or myself. And I think about my children. That's why I cherish every second that I have with my mom. I cherish every second that I have with my children. I cherish every moment, every minute. Each one of us have to remember those things. We have to learn to forgive and move forward. We have to learn to forget about all the things we have said in the past. Make amends. God is that one person that will never judge us. That will never sit there and say, "Mm, I don't know, man. We got to rethink this relationship. Nope. God is there with you through thick and thin. He was there when he created you in the beginning and he will be there when he calls you home. So if you're a person that is unsure of your relationship and how close you are in the house of the Lord, let me introduce you to him. Let me guide you into the right destination and allow you the opportunity to create a path to meeting our Lord and Savior. And it starts like this. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the sun. We thank you for the rain. We thank you for the clouds. We thank you, Lord, for allowing us to wake up this morning and to hear your words. We ask you, Lord, to continue to watch over us. We ask you, Lord, to continue to be a part of our lives. And Lord, I'm asking you at this moment to, I want to introduce you to the Half Faith Let It Begin family, to new listeners to listeners who haven't stopped to those that haven't judged and listened to us faithfully Lord I'd like you to know that they are seeking they are curious I want you to hear their prayers hear them now as we have a moment of silence and allow you the opportunity to greet our Lord and Savior let's do that now Lord, hear our prayer. We thank you, Lord, and we ask you to watch over people that are going to the hospital. As I was driving to work this morning, I saw a fellow neighbor. Well, not mentioned because, you know, I don't know if anybody's still listening and they haven't been called yet. But Lord, you know who he is. I saw him being put on a stretcher. We ask you to pray for him. We pray for Mr. Munger. We pray for new beginnings. We pray for uh, Nick Lanza and his sister-in-law. We pray for understanding and forgiveness we pray for our half faith let it begin family we ask you lord now more than ever to continue to be with us to guide us lord for those that are unsure of who we are we hope that you lord can whisper in the ears like you did with me 20 years ago plus i am with you i believe in you i trust you i love you and i will never leave your side May God be with you today, guys. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never, ever forget, have faith, let it begin. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to Have Faith, Let It Begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730. Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we (laughs) impress. She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day.
Thank you for listening to How Faith Flow Begins. We'll be back tomorrow.